Hello and welcome to our award ceremony. We are delighted to be hosting this year's virtual award ceremony. We are thrilled to announce the school captains this year, the most senior positions, formerly known as head boy and head girl, are myself, Fraser Flynn, Ryan Johnson, Eva Bagry and Rachel Bowen. To officially welcome you to our award ceremony this year, we are pleased to introduce our head teacher, Miss Alison Dobson. Hello everyone and welcome to the Dalkeith High School Awards Ceremony of 2021. This year I think it's even more important than normal that we stop and take stock of all the amazing achievements of our pupils. Covid has presented us with so many challenges over the past 18 months, but our young people have continued to achieve despite those challenges. And I'm so proud of all in our school community who have gone over and above, either in their classrooms or in other aspects of their lives outside of school. Very well done to all. And if you're maybe sitting there thinking, hold on, I don't know if she knows about my achievement in rugby or, or in dancing. Maybe we still have a little bit of work to do as a school in terms of encouraging people to come forward to tell us about their achievements. And that is something that the wider achievement group will tell you more about as we go forward through the course of this year. But for now, please sit back and enjoy hearing about the achievements of our school pupils and congratulations. Very well done to them. Thank you. To begin our award ceremony today, we would like to start by recognising our pupils who have shown excellent progress in their learning. The awards for personal progress are in recognition of pupils who have demonstrated that qualities that, at Dalkeith High School, we believe make someone a successful learner. In this senior phase, these qualities are what enable so many of us to make excellent progress with our SQA qualifications. This award ceremony, ceremony is to recognise the achievements and progress from the last academic year and highlight all of the achievements that were completed in 2020, despite the challenging times that we were faced with. Take a moment to read through the names to recognise the various achievements and personal progress from S1. Our winners for personal progress in S2 are for personal progress in S3 are Winners for personal progress in S4 are for personal progress in S5 are Finally, our winners for personal progress in S6 are Our next awards are for academic excellence. 
At Dalkeith High School, we have a huge number of pupils who aim consistently to achieve as highly as possible in their learning, and we recognise them in this category. Our winners for academic excellence in S1 are... Our winners for academic excellence in S2 are The winners for academic excellence in S3 are In the senior phase at Dalkeith High School, we have a huge number of pupils who perform to the highest levels in their SQA examinations, and it is in this part of the ceremony that we will recognise their outstanding achievements. Prizes are awarded according to individual performances in both National 5 and higher exams to pupils in S4 to S6. Where two pupils have achieved the same mark, they have both been awarded the prize. Our winners for academic excellence at National 5 levels are... Our winners for academic excellence at higher level are We now come to the point in the ceremony where we will award the subject prizes. These are prizes which were established to recognise achievement and were often named after former members of staff. For example, the History Prize is officially known as the Charlie Wood Prize for History. There is no set criteria for the awarding of these prizes, but the winners here are recognised for a broad spectrum of reasons, such as, but not exclu exclusive to, long-term dedication to a particular department, academic progress or extracurricular success. The subject prize winner for Art and Design is George Young. George has shown dedication and passion throughout the year by not only working hard in class, but also using his own time to develop and learn a new skill, glass making. This extra commitment that George has applied undoubtedly shows that he has gone over and above with his practice. He is clearly a very dedicated and hard-working pupil who has a natural talent for art and design. However, his commitment and enthusiasm for the subject has enabled George to further refine and explore his creativity and skills in portraiture and design to an excellent standard. Congratulations, George. Eva Bagri, Subject Prize, Admin and IT. Eva is an exceptional pupil with an outstanding work ethic and dedication to her subjects. She has consistently scored highly in the subject and has always applied herself to every task. The Subject Prize winner for Biology is Tamal Alam. Tamal has been a model student in Biology. All of his work has been first class and he has always applied himself 100% to every task. Tamal has gone on to study medicine at Edinburgh and we are very proud of him. Well done, Tamal. The subject prize winner for business studies is Sophie Dixon. Sophie has worked hard all year and achieved the highest scores in class all across her assessments. She has a natural talent for the subject and shown dedication to her work. The subject prize winner for chemistry is Nintara Raja. Nintara has been one of the hardest working pupils to attend Delkey. She has been 100% focused on her journey through school and her results reflected this. Nintara has now gone on to Aberdeen to study medicine and we are very proud of her. Well done, Nintara. The subject prize winner for classical studies this year is Beth Faulkner. Beth is exceptionally talented, conscientious, caring and responsible. In the midst of unprecedented disruption, 
and in addition to diligently carrying out her whole school responsibilities, she excelled with her classical studies coursework. Despite being a scientist at heart, she showed a real talent for classical literature and produced some fantastic essays on Antigone and Medea. Her real talent, however, was with a bee smoker, and I'm sure recognising this will mean far more to her as she heads off to uni. The subject prize winner for drama is Josh Menzies. Josh has shown outstanding dedication to drama this year whilst preparing for his practical exam in which he achieved an exceptional performance grade. His commitment to learning new plays and developing his analysis skills was excellent, and his comedic timing has been second to none in an effort to make everyone smile. Moira Perring Montoya. Subject prize, English. Moira is an outstanding pupil who has worked diligently throughout her time at Dalkeith High School. She is a vicarious reader and is very creative. Last year she scored highly in all areas of the course and produced a particularly strong folio of writing. The subject prize winner for geography is Ben Hainan. Ben is an outstanding geographer. He has an in-depth knowledge of global geography and is keenly aware of the global issue facing our planet. Ben has worked extremely hard this year and fully deserved the A-band one he achieved. The subject prize winner for history this year is Tansy Sibley. Tansy is a dedicated pupil who is determined to succeed and develop her passion for history. In addition, Tansy's consistency and drive has helped her to progress in higher history. Furthermore, Tansy has greatly improved her knowledge, which she demonstrated by pre presenting her experience with the lessons from Auschwitz project in front of her peers. Well done, Tansy. The subject prize winner for Practical Kate Craft is Sophie Sharp for her amazing skills in cake craft and for always putting in the extra effort when needed. The subject prize winner for Modern Languages this year is Maya Pearson. Maya fully embraced learning a new language and went over and above in taking an initiative to develop her skills in both French and Spanish. Maya has become a fantastic linguist who clearly finds joy in learning a new language and culture. Bravo! The subject prize winner for maths is Ryan Johnson. Ryan has consistently excelled in his maths work through out his years at Dalkeith High School. However, his interest and enthusiasm has not been limited by obtaining excellent exam results. Whilst also being a member of the enterprising maths team for two years, he often shows a willingness and interest in the wider world of maths. He is keen to understand and consider situations beyond those presented in the classroom and to make connections not always apparent between topics and subjects. This is why he is being presented with the prize for mathematics. Huge congratulations. The subject prize winner for Modern Studies this year is Rachel Bowen. Rachel has been outstanding in modern studies. She has a superb understanding of current issues and has an excellent writing style. Rachel has worked extremely hard and fully deserves this award. The subject prize winner for music is Channel Churchiari. Channel worked extremely hard all year and thoroughly deserved his mark in music and music technology. Channel came in in every session and always gave 100%. Robin Bain, subject prize, photography. Robin has shown consistent dedication and passion throughout the year in photography. She has a natural talent, however, her commitment and enthusiasm has enabled her to further refine and explore her creativity and skill to an excellent standard. I have watched Robin go from strength to strength, from NPA to higher level, and I am very proud of all she has achieved over the last year. Well done, Robin! The subject prize winner for PE is India Frame. India is an outstanding pupil who has brought energy, enthusiasm and motivation to this department. She has developed a great relationship with PE staff across dance, PE and SPR. She is the happiest student we have ever taught, responded well to challenges faced and always smashed it. The subject prize winner for physics this year is Ben Haining. Ben has worked extremely hard during all his time in physics. His formal assessment scores were outstanding and he showed great enthusiasm for physics. Well done Ben. The subject prize winner for RMPS is Ellie McKinstry. Ellie has worked extremely hard in RMPS from S1 to higher in S5. Ellie has shown great enthusiasm throughout the years and helped others in her certificate classes. Shakia. Subject prize, Technologies. Shakia has approached every course with a quiet determination and resolve. Her work has always been to the highest standard, and this is reflected in the many A grades she has achieved in the technology subjects. Shakia is a pleasant young woman to work with always appreciating the learning opportunities offered to her. We would now like to recognise all of our confident individuals, effective contributors and responsible citizens. This may be in sport and fields, charity work and arts and volunteering in your local community. It gives us great pleasure to celebrate the wider achievements of the following people who are determined, happy and successful. Congratulations to all. 
Next, we'd like to take a moment of appreciation for those pupils who have achieved their Duke of Edinburgh Silver Award this year. In order to achieve this, pupils have to complete a program of volunteering, a physical activity, and develop a skill in addition to training for planning and completing an expedition. Please take a moment to recognise our Silver Duke of Edinburgh participants. The school continues to support the Youth Philanthropy Initiative through S2 RME. YPI is an inclusive, multi-award winning secondary school programme that grows compassionate communities by connecting young people to social, to social issues, local charities and philanthropy at a pivotal stage in their adolescence. In March, eight groups from Dalkeith High School took part in the DHS final, representing various local charities. Everyone performed exceptionally well, making, a making it a difficult decision for the judge. The winners were Eva, Tasha and Evie, and, and Evie who managed to secure £3,000 worth of funding for Women's Aid Dalkeith. Well done to all. And a big congratulations to our YPI finalists. Ria, Callie, Caitlin, Abby, Katie, Cara, Maggie and Elise. Melissa gained her Saltire Ascent Award for completing over 500 hours of voluntary work with Girl Guiding Scotland as a young leader for brownies and rainbows and making up food packs at empty kitchens full heart at Lee. Melissa continued her volunteering with the Edinburgh group Empty Kitchens Full Hearts. Throughout the Christmas holidays she was packing meals and helped out at the hot food service down at Leith Theatre. She even worked a shift on Christmas Day and Hogmanay. Melissa is also the winner of Saltire Summit Award for volunteering with Lothian. Congratulations to Ruby and Drasmit, who are our winners of Young Writers Poetry Competition. Super achievement. Congratulations to Jamie, who was the first people to read a million words this year. Excellent accomplishment. Congratulations to Arman Raja from 1B1, who won the e-book prize for reading eight books from April to June. Congratulations to Holly Shaw 3B1, who is the winner of the S3 design competition to design the label for the new DHS Honey Jars. Congratulations to Saba, who completed a quantum technology school course, another excellent achievement. Congratulations to Isabella for achieving her black belt in Taekwondo. Super achievement, well done Isabella. Congratulations to Timo, who is trialling for Ice Hockey Team GB for the Paris Olympics in 2024. Amazing accomplishment. Congratulations to Guy, who passed his grade 7 exam for electric guitar. Super work, Guy. Well done. Congratulations to Bethan, who has been offered a place to train on the BBO Junior Ballet Scholars Associate Programme. Fantastic accomplishment. Congratulations to Isla, who raised £800 in the summer for the Sick Kids Hospital charity. To raise the money, Isla set herself the target to run 60k in three weeks. She met the target well before the three weeks deadline. Simply brilliant. Congratulations to Ben Cannon, 4M1, who has been voted Player of the Year by his football team. Amazing achievement. Congratulations to Max Richardson, who has been voted Player of the Year by his football team. Fantastic accomplishment. Congratulations to Dylan Ferguson, who won Dalkeith FC Player of the Year. Super achievement. Congratulations to Chloe, who began to volunteer on Friday afternoons to coach the junior player football team. Brilliant achievement. Congratulations to Isla, who volunteers at her local swimming group to train the younger classes how to swim. Excellent accomplishment. Congratulations to Nash, who trained her dog, who then won second place in an agility competition and is setting up her own agility group. Fantastic work. Congratulations to Eden, who's read over 100 books since November 2020. Amazing accomplishment. Congratulations to Hope who trained her horse that won the Murrayfield Summer Show and took home a trophy in two rosettes. Hope's horse will now move from the 55 centimetre jump to the 60 centimetre. Outstanding achievement. Congratulations to Luca, who featured in a movie called The Lost King. Amazing accomplishment. Congratulations to Sophie, who qualified and is now a member of the South East Region Scotland football team. Amazing achievement. Congratulations to Josh, who is now playing for the Pennycook Boys football team. Brilliant achievement. And congratulations to Rachel, who learned how to ride a bike over the summer. Fantastic accomplishment. It is so important for us to remember that achievement is not just about what grades you get in school. It is also about the skills you have, developing your confidence and how to meet your pers personal goals. One way of earning recognition from these achievements is through the house challenge. Pupils can earn merits from teachers for a whole host of 
effective contributions to the life of the school. And each month, teachers would nominate their junior and senior achiever of the month. Congratulations to the top two junior winners from each house. Well done to all. Congratulations to the top two senior winners from each house. Well done to all. Our final awards are for our Ducks medalists. Academic Duxes have been recognised since Dalkeith High School first opened its doors in 1914 and the senior Duxes still have their name inscribed on the original boards from the original building, which you can see displayed in the dinner hall. Our winners this year are all exceptionally talented and show that hard work, commitment and perseverance really do make all the difference. This year's very deserving winner of the Junior Ducks Award is Ben Richardson. Congratulations. We would also like to recognise our Junior Ducks Props and Mea Kessa Awards, Abby Pearson and Murray Robertson, for their fantastic performances in their national exams. Well done. This year's very deserving winner of the Senior Ducks Award is Ben Haining. Congratulations. Continuing our recognition of academic excellence, the winner of our Ducks Props and Mea Kessa, or Next in Line Award, goes to Ryan Johnson for his fantastic performance in his higher exams. Well done. These final awards bring to a close this year's award ceremony. We thank you on behalf of all our winners for tuning in.